Okay, well, it's the next day. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, fire this baby back up. But this time, I'm going to use the Maverick XR50. This one here is brand new in the box. I'm going to go ahead and set all four of them in there just to monitor the pit. And as you can see, it didn't do, it didn't do a bad job. I mean, it's nice and dark on all the steel, on all the, uh, on the main chamber anyway. Uh, the, the racks are looking pretty good. They'll darken up as I uh, cook. Uh, walking around here, you'll see uh, that I added nine splits. I'm going to start with nine splits. I think that's uh, going to be ideal for this uh, chamber. Okay, everybody. I'm going to kind of get you guys a, a look at the gauges here. This is on the smoker side. The other side is the... Uh, um, the rotisserie as you can see there So I just want to look at these gauges here. I mean, they're pretty close, you know, they're running fairly even in the center These here are the top middle and these here are the at the very bottom rack So I'm kind of gauging what I got going on here and so far. I mean, I Think that if I'm gonna run this pit of course, the meat's going to change everything, but I'm running around toothy-ish around the board there. All they keep my gauges about right there, um, I'll be fine. So let's go ahead and go around to the rotisserie side and see what's going on. The warmer bus here, uh, they're running fairly even, as you can see here. Here, I have it completely closed. I did have it open when I fired it up. The top stacks are wide open on the warming boxes over here same thing this side's running a little bit hotter that would be why uh, again top stack open uh, bottom damper closed and we come over here to the rotisserie side I do not have the rotisserie motor running because I have my uh, temp probes in there as you can see uh, what is that uh, 225 225 Let's see, yeah, about 225 and just a hair over 225, which is fine because that's going to be spinning anyway. Let's see if I can get, get you guys in here. So, as you can see, it's not, you know, what about 20 something degrees or so. So, yeah, I mean, if I want to run an average of around 250, like you see here across the board, again, just got to keep my gauges at the same. Uh, about the same spot as uh, the other side. All right. Here I also started out with uh, nine splits per side when I fired it up. It's been an hour and 20 minutes and I haven't added any sticks yet. Um, when that fire starts to die down, I'll go ahead and just you know add a, a split and just see how it goes. Like I said, I'm still learning it. If you're wondering on the top stacks, uh, the back, the front two are closed, and the ones that are closest to us, which is the rear, uh, they're open halfway. And as you can see, you don't see any smoke. It's nice, clean fire. Ah, uh, we're back. What are the odds of these two pits running the same exact temp? Just about. Uh, yeah, I mean that's pretty impressive. Just wanted to share that with you guys. I'd also like to say that I am two and a half hours uh, into this. Uh, well, it's not a cook, you know, I'm just into, into this testing. And uh, I got to say, it's uh, all I added was two splits of wood per side to keep these uh, pit temps uh, even. So that was only one time that I had to add splits. Uh, we'll see once the temperatures start to drop. I will go ahead and add a couple more and I'm pretty sure that's what it's going to be about I guess it could be a split an hour or two splits every hour and a half or so or something like that, but I'll get it figured out Okay guys. Well, they're not running identical. I do apologize. The meters are showing it but for those of you that want to run two of these uh, Maverick XR50s is not going to work so close together. 
So what I'm going to try to do, well that explains why they're both identical. Uh, the one over here on this side is reading different. So what I want to do is pull this one off and maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll set it here. And I'll put the other one on the opposite side. And maybe we'll get, maybe they'll change. So let me uh, resync. I believe you just press and hold. Okay. Now we're 237, 244, 237, 244, and we are 239, 244, 239, 244. Let's go check the other side. Maybe there's enough metal in there where it'll, it'll separate it. So let's go ahead and just resync this one. Okay, lights blinking, so uh, 246, 236. Nope. Let me see here. Resync this one. Oh, that was off. Let's turn it back on. Let's see what we get. Come back over here. 246, 236. No, it keeps picking up the other one. Man, that really sucks because I need two of these things working. So maybe I need to separate this one entirely. I don't know guys, I'm going to have to figure this out. Um, I don't think it's possible to run two of these at a time and that really blows. I am going to be very disappointed if, uh, or maybe one of you guys can help me out in figuring out uh, how I can use uh, two of these units. Let's see here. Maybe if I power it off, power both of them off here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and turn this one on, let's turn this one on, and let's see how it goes. Come on, pick it up. Nope, it's picking up on the other side. Yeah, I hope you guys can help me out with this, otherwise I'm just going to have to turn off one of the receivers. Because this one's matching up with this one. And as you can see here, they're reading the same. So, let me know, guys, um, if there's a way to fix this issue or what. Uh, Maverick, if you're out there listening, or um, Adrenaline Barbecue, if you guys could help me out here, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up. Turned out perfect. Everything monitoring attempts, other than the XR50, is not working the way I want them to. They don't. You can't run them in pairs, too close to each other, I guess. But that's okay. I got other ways around that. Other than that, uh, maintaining temps in that thing was nice. Uh, different ways I could control the the dampers and with the warming box and all that, which was really cool. Uh, I would like to know your thoughts on this smoker. Now keep in mind, this is stage one of this cooker and stage two might not i have to bring it back to my builder and stage two hopefully will be done by the end of the year or possibly somewhere mid next year i don't know so yeah hey leave a comment below tell me your thoughts on it also if you like the video smash that like button uh you want to share to your friends that'd be fine too and also, hey, I don't know, many of you guys know that I have a, a Facebook group. It's called Joe's Barbecue House. Go check it out. Um, sometimes I post uh, behind the scenes in the group. Sometimes just before I even post a video. So if you kind of like all that stuff, or it's a friendly group. I won't put up with any drama, so you ain't got to worry about that. Uh, but hey, click that subscribe button. Tell me your thoughts. 